Welcome to Friesen's online tutorial series. My name is Catherine and today I'm going to show you the effects palette in Adobe InDesign CS4. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select an object that I want to add an effect to. And in this case, it's going to be a picture. But you can add an effect to text, to a graphic element, to a background, almost anything that you want to. So once we have our object selected, we're going to go up to our top toolbar and click on object. And we're going to just scroll down until we see effects and now you can add the one or more effects that you want to your object but since we're going to go through them all I'm just going to start at the top with transparency so the effects palette will open in its own window and you can see on the left here that we have the settings for and so right now we have an object selected so it says object but we also have options for the stroke the fill and text so we're just going to leave it on object and then we have all of our effects options on the right hand side we have the options for that specific effect and so starting with transparency uh, we can see that we have the mode which we're just going to leave at normal for right now and we have the opacity and so what the opacity does is it makes our object see-through so if we just move our bar we can see that our picture becomes see-through and it becomes see-through immediately because we have our preview down here in the bottom left selected so with it off you can see that the change doesn't happen right away and with it on it does so we're just gonna leave it on uh, transparency works great for backgrounds that are a little too dark and this is a way to lighten them up We're just going to move that back to 100 and we're going to move on to our next effect which is a drop shadow. So we're just going to add a drop shadow to our picture and you can see that this is the basic drop shadow with all of the preset numbers. And I really encourage you to go through each one of these on your own, uh, try out the different um, settings and see what you like. And remember, when you find something you like, to write down the numbers so you don't forget. So most of these options will appear in our effects that we're going to go through in a minute but we're going to take some time and just go through the drop shadow one so you get an idea of what each of them do. So for drop shadow we have our blending and so we have all of our modes again. We have our color so you can change the color of your drop shadow to one of those custom colors you've created. We have the opacity, which as we did in transparency, it is the see-through quality of the drop shadow. We have the position of the drop shadow, so if we move the distance, you can see that the X and Y offset change, and this is just the space in between the top of the picture and where the drop shadow starts. Uh, we have the angle of the drop shadow and so this is just where your light is coming from and you can change the, where the drop shadow then falls. The options for this effect are you can change the size of your drop shadow, you can change how much it spreads out from the picture, and you can make the drop shadow a little more gritty by adding some noise. And so those are the options for our drop shadow. The next effect is the inner shadow. And our inner shadow 
is just like our drop shadow, except it appears on the inside of the photo. And so you can see here that we have our blending and our position and our options again. Um, our color is black and you can see that it appears right here on the inside of the photo. The next option is an outer glow. And we can't see this to begin with because our color is white and we have a white background. So if we just change our color, you're now able to see a glow that goes all the way around the outside of the picture. The next effect is just the opposite of that and it is the inner glow. After our inner glow, we have bevel and emboss. And you can see that when this gets added to our picture, that it creates a really neat effect. So it looks like our picture is actually poofed out from the page. Um, we can also change the style to an outer bevel. So it's kind of like a drop shadow again. Um, you can do an embossing. So it looks like it's pushed in. And you can do a pillow emboss. So it looks like it's like a pillow. Again, we have different options. So you can do it smooth or hard. You can change the size. You can soften it. You can change the depth. You can change the colors, the opacity, and the angle. The next option is satin. And this just makes... We'll just wait till it comes up here so you can see it. but it just makes it so the outside looks like satin. And again, you can change all of the different options to get the look you want. The last three are feathering. And this creates an edge um, that blends into the page. So our basic feather is just what it says, it's basic. It's the same all the way around the outside. You can change the size of it. Um, you can change what the corners look like, whether it's diffused or rounded or sharp. Um, and then you can add a bit of the noise to make it a little more flecked. Um, the next effect for feathering is the directional feather. And this one gives you a little bit more control on where you're adding your feathering. So you can actually change the size of your feathering and where it comes in. So if we were to add a top feathering here, you can see that we have our just our top edge being feathered. You can again change the noise, um, the angle, what the leading edge is going to look like. And the last effect is our gradient feather. And with this one, you can actually use it with sort of the opacity um, and make it, you know, darker than lighter. You can do linear, which is a straight line, or you can do a radial. 
feather, which gives you the option of having feathering come in a lot more at the corners. And so those are all the effects in the effects palette. And again, I do encourage you to go through and try them out for yourself on pictures, on text, on any other elements that you think you might like an effect. And when you find that one you like, write it down.